So I love the aim units, I love how they look, I love how they play, they're basically just the SAX cranked up to 100. It's so cool and they bring a whole new weird vibe to the franchise that I love so much. But one thing I can't stop thinking about when I look at the AMI units is the way they move. It's surprisingly organic and natural, very fluid. I want to say something along the lines of maybe they're kind of half organic, like cyborgs or anything, but we kind of see one broken down a bit and doesn't look organic, so it got me wondering, how is it moving so fluidly? After some thinking, I realized maybe these things are actually connected to the Metroids in a pretty unique way. So, of course, if you like Metroid content, please subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Now, of course, I don't mean that the AMI units are somehow related to the Metroids because one's a robot and one's not a robot. That doesn't make that much sense. But what I'm going with is that maybe the Galactic Federation programmed the hunting instincts of the Metroids within the AMI units to make them the most efficient hunter, gatherer, or predator for their research. Now, there's a lot of reasons why I think this. For starters, I gotta admit, the AMI units kind of move a little bit like the Zeta Metroids. And even though that might be a flimsy point, the similarity is just a bit too striking, to be honest. From what little we know about the story, the expert said still are alive and are on the planet of ZDR. And the Galactic Federation sent the AMI units over there to investigate. Whether it's to hunt, destroy, or even capture some specimen, it would make sense that if the Galactic Federation wanted to hunt down X parasites for whatever reason, that they'll program the hunting instincts of that creature's natural predator, the Metroids, into the robots to be the most efficient hunter for said creature. The X parasites are extremely elusive as they can basically change their forms just by gathering some bits of DNA. No natural creature could really hunt down the X parasites, which is is why the Chozos made the Metroids specifically to be that creature's predator. So I think it would make sense for these creatures to have these Metroid instincts specifically to hunt down the X parasites they're searching for. Okay, that's a pretty cool idea. It's a cool way to bring in the Metroids without actually just bringing back the Metroids. I kind of like it. But when would this have happened? When did the Galactic Federation get data on the Metroids instincts and stuff like that? Well, during Metroid Fusion. Going back to Metroid Fusion, I think we all kind of scoffed at the idea of like when we confronted Adam that the Galactic Federation were making Metroids for research purposes, for scientific purposes, because we've seen it multiple times throughout the franchise that whenever these organizations make Metroids, they want weapons. But maybe this instance, maybe Adam wasn't lying. Maybe they were just wanting to research Metroids. The Galactic Federation know that the Metroids are extremely hard to control from whatever data they probably gathered from the space pirates to their own experience on the bottle ship. The Metroids are difficult, if not almost impossible to control. But you know what is easy to control? Robots. Easily programmable robots that you can just turn off and on if needed. So it makes sense for the Galactic Federation to research the creatures to see how they hunt and how they attack and study them so they can program these instincts into a robot to basically have a Metroid with none of the instinctual and feral drawbacks. Why else in Metroid Fusion would the Galactic Federation go out of their way to research SR388 to create an entire replica of the environment just to make bioweapons if in other instances we know and they know that the Metroids don't need sr 3 its environment to be viable weapons. Again, in other end, they just made that Torrin base all over again to hold the Metroids in so they know they don't need the planet's environment. Heck, looking in Fusion alone, just a restricted area was a good enough area to clone up Metroids and have them metamorphosize through their natural evolution cycle. But in Fusion, for whatever reason, they wanted the exact environment of sr 3 d for the Metroids. It seems clear that they actually wanted to actually study the Metroids for research purposes, to study the creatures in their most natural environment, to see how they move, how they hunt, how they attack, and how they act, to study the creatures, to then input their information into these robots they can easily control and send out. And that's my general theory. I kind of like it a lot because not only does it explain why the Galactic Federation wanted to study sr 3 its environment to give the Metroids the most natural ecosystem to get the most raw data, but also explain why these creatures are sent specifically to look for the X parasites and why they're so naturally effective when it comes to hunting and stalking their prey. The movement just seems too fluid and natural to just be a normal robot searching for a specific DNA signature. It seems like it's legitimately hunting something. But again, that's just a theory, just my idea and speculation. Of course, I want to hear what you guys think. I know there's so many ideas out there over what the AMI units can be. Robots that are already ex-infected, maybe being controlled by Mother Brain or had the subconscious of Ridley within them. For all we know, Silex should be like controlling them from the background and no one can be the wiser. There's a lot of ideas out there, but this is my idea that I think might be the most plausible, but I might be biased because I'm the one who's thinking about it. <laughs> 
whatever you feel, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And of course, if you like more Metroid content, feel free to click on the videos above, which is either me talking about my general first impressions of Metroid Dread, which is really interesting. I love the game so much. Or maybe for whatever reason, you might be slightly burnt out on Metroid Dread stuff. I don't know why you would be, but I got a video where I'm unboxing some Kid Icarus figures. So maybe that's something you're interested in. So please feel free to click on whatever you want. With that being said though, I'm the Metro Trainer. Hope you like, pair, subscribe, and stick around for next time because I'll be seeing you later.